Okay, we are going to make what I think is the best pizza dough ever from scratch. And it's pretty easy. So you need a few things. You need flour, sugar, water, yeast, salt, some olive oil. Okay, so I, I measured out the, the flour. The flour is um, 33 ounces, okay, six cups. This is bread flour. You could use half bread flour, half whole wheat flour. If you want more of a whole wheat pizza, you could do all, um, all purpose flour, but bread flour, I think is the nicest rise in the crust and gives a nice like bubbly crust, okay? So I've been making this recipe for years and I think it's awesome. I'm also timing or, or recording this during our stay at home orders. So there might be some background noise um, every so often. So um, bear with me. So here we have our um, flour. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure out the um, yeast. Okay, so you got six cups of bread flour. As far as the yeast goes, it's gonna be one teaspoon. And I'm gonna put that in the water. All right, and this is just a dry, rapid rise yeast. And then I have some sugar that I'm gonna put into my flour. And then I'm gonna add Mm, I got a little yeast sticking to the side, so I might just put a tiny pinch more yeast. And what I'm gonna do is save the salt. I'm gonna save the olive oil. Okay, that's it. Now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes and definitely some gluten development. I'm just gonna put a little cavity in the bottom there. And what I do is I need um, <clears throat> two tablespoons of vegetable oil. I use olive oil, but you could use any kind of oil, all right? I put two tablespoons of the oil. And then of course I need a, I need a tablespoon of salt, but I don't want to put the oil in the salt. So this is a half tablespoon. So I'm gonna add two of those. Okay. Just a little pinch. All right, there we go. Then I put this on for another maybe minute. Right. And then I, I could do the rest by hand on the tabletop. So the way I think about this is you could do um, six small pizzas or four larger pizzas with this. If you like a really thick crust, I just make four larger pizzas. Okay, so I just do this by hand now. Um, kneading it for just about a minute. It's a little sticky, but you're generous with the flour later when you roll it out. So then it won't stick, all right? So, um, this is looking good. So, what do we do now? We're gonna let this sit. I could let it sit at room temperature. Um, believe it or not, this little ball makes six pizzas, okay? Or six small ones, four big ones. What I do is I take a bowl, just put a tiny bit of oil in there, okay? Wipe it around, and then I put my pizza in there and cover it. 
okay? You let it ride. This is, you can do one of two things. Put it, for today, I'm gonna make pizza today. So I'm gonna let it sit for about two to three hours um, in a kind of cool place in the house, but not too cool. Maybe around 70 to 75 degrees, it will rise. And then I will break it into the pieces I want. And I'm gonna use half of it today. And the other half I'll put in the fridge. And I'll just let it stay till tomorrow. And then when I'm ready to use it, uh, you, you could you could use the whole thing, put it all in the fridge. But um, this, what I'm gonna do is half today and half tomorrow. It's usually better day after. So if you have, if you think of doing this in advance, great. If not, uh, it's it's fine to do it in um, <clears throat> same day. And um, in about two hours, we'll come back to to break this up in half and um, so then we could cut it into individual pizzas for, to cook later tonight. Okay. Okay, so it, this, this has been sitting for about four hours and you could tell it's risen. And if you push down, it indents. So it's, it's a nice dough. What I like to do is I like to weigh it. It's not necessary. You could eyeball it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear my um, bowl. And I have 1,565 grams. So half of that is about 780. All right. So what I like to do is I like to put my pizza down and just... I'm only gonna use half of it today, all right? So what you do is cut in half. What did I say, 780, that's 740. That, that should be just fine, but if you want it up, now it's 760, that's fine. So now you, you have this, this dough. So this, all right, so I have, I'm gonna make four pizzas total, all right? I'm gonna take half of it, cover it, Put this in the fridge it's good for up to five days all right um this one you can see the nice bubble this is gonna be a nice nice dough all right so this one um i don't weigh this but we could and this is about yeah seven like i said oh it's kind of going off the side let's say it's 750 you want 375 Ish. It doesn't really matter because it's not like you're baking. I don't bake them at the same time. All right. So what I do is now I make it into a nice, I fold all the corners. Okay. This is nice stuff because it's not sticky. Okay. It's not that sticky. And what I like to do is just get a little flour. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just put a little flour down. All right. It's kind of a lot of flour, but all right. Oh, so I took this and I folded it, remember? Flip it over. Has, it has some flour on top of it, which is important because you don't want the plastic wrap to stick. Okay, so then I just take this, turn it over. Nice, okay? Then I get some plastic wrap, which I kind of already kind of got partially ready. And now, now this has to rise for um, two hours, even, yeah, about two hours. You could have split this into three, okay? And, um, but I decided to split it into two. And I'm simplifying today. Um, you, you know, in some cases I will, um, make my own bread sauce, uh, pizza sauce, and I love doing that. But today is one of those lazy Fridays and I am just happy to have this crust and, I just um, buy a ready-made to tomato marinara sauce and that works. And then I have some mozzarella cheese and we'll assemble this in about two hours. Um, one more thing to think ahead with the pizza stone or I have a pizza um, steel to put your oven on about an hour before you're gonna throw it in the oven, all right? So um, I'd say let these rise for an hour, check them, and then think about getting that 
oven on. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so we're gonna um, construct our pizza. All right, so my oven's been on for an hour at 450 because I have the pizza steel. If you're using the stone, you need to get it up to about 550. You want your oven as hot as possible. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, um, the dough's a little sticky. So we just get a little flour. Sprinkle some on top. Have some on the counter. And you can see all these nice little air bubbles pop in. All right, and what I do is I just kind of push out the center with my hands. And it's you, when you get to a certain point, I kind of stretch it out. I put my hands um, kind of like, I want our crust to form. So I put my hands, I don't stretch like the very end, but you don't want to stretch too much of the middle too fast because then you get tears. And once you get tears, it's hard to band-aid that. All right, so if you want, you could just push it out the whole time instead of stretching it out like I did with by lifting it. Okay, and um, this is gonna be nice. And I have all my ingredients ready. All right, so for this pizza, it's gonna be a tomato, basil, and I don't have fresh mozzarella cheese. See how it's really thin here? That's not, you know, I could fold to band-aid it, but that's really not ideal. All right. So I got all my toppings ready. And I'm gonna stretch one more time around the edge. You get this nice sized pizza. Ah, it's starting to rip a little, okay? All right, so then I don't have semolina flour. Semolina flour is ideal. But if you just take regular flour, put it on, and then drag your pizza on here, okay? Then it's ready to put the toppings, and you wanna make sure it slides before you put it in the oven. The last thing you wanna do is push down like I'm doing, and don't do the slide test, because then it sticks to your peel, and it's a real mess. So I don't really, I kind of eyeball how much sauce I want. All right, so I just use a, a spoon to spread it around. I like things kind of saucy. It's your preference. Maybe a little more. All right, and then you want some crust so you don't go all the way up to the edge. All right, and then you sprinkle on some cheese. All right, and what I'm gonna do is get my basil and tomatoes. And of course, you could just throw it in right now and have a mozzarella cheese pizza, and it's perfect. I would probably add a little more cheese. All right, so I got my tomatoes and I got my basil. I'm just gonna put, um, I just rinsed it. And I kind of give this a bang. Usually it slides right on. Oops, sorry about that. A couple minutes, I forgot to take a look. I think the pizza looks really nice. All right, so we just kind of bring it over here. Put it on a serving dish. I, um, this is about 13 inch pizza. It looks beautiful. Did you put mushrooms in? No. Yeah. All right. Well, there it is. And then I have the second one ready to go in the oven, um, ready to be topped. So it's good to have a little assembly line going. All right. Thank you. Please like our video if you uh, enjoyed it. And everything required to make the pizza will be listed um, in the description.